So, well, on. I don't know. You're, you're on? Yep. Okay, good. We're on. You're on. We're on. Everybody's on. Dungeon of the Mad Maid Session 35 is on the table. So, real quick, last week, you guys started getting into the mystery of the Octagon Gang, trying to get into this vault. Um, you got a bunch of clues. I'm not going to go over all those clues. Hopefully, you wrote some down or whatever. Um, and you... Um, Met with all of them, except Alton, or no, yeah, Alton. And so you had waited around the warehouse uh, until about five o'clock. Uh, the Toot and Gemma uh, joined you, um, and um, that is kind of where we're at. You're with Hattie as well, and you have Ash. So. I think that's everybody that should be here. Although why do I see all these other... Oh, I see Bart. Why is Bart up there? There he is. Okay. All right. So, it is 5 o'clock. The doors open. Uh, and um, yeah, that's where we'll start. Uh... So the doors open. Are you guys walking in at all? I don't. You don't, I have y'all on the map, whatever. Um, but still, we're hiding, right? Aren't we waiting to see? Um. Do we want to wait to see if someone else goes in, or do we want to just go right in? Oh wait, no, because we have to meet him, don't we? Yep. Yeah. yeah, we don't want him taken out if he's the good guy, do we? I assume not. But we expect Alton to be here or be right. watching. Or... I might uh, kind of stalk off and I like. Anybody that wants to read the notes, me. if you look in the notes section, the warehouse from hell, that that's the notes. They're <laughs> available for everybody. <laughs> um, so if you're going to walk in, um, when you walk in, uh, one of the crates. I assume you're walking in. Yes. We'll just assume you're yes. walking in. Yeah, okay. I'm okay. One of the crates in the warehouse opens, revealing a life-size stone statue of Bartholomew Angler. Please be so kind. Kind. Is kind? Wow. Please be so kind as to join me on the roof, would you? Says the statue, its lips turning back to stone. It's outstretched fingers leading you your eyes to a ladder built into the wall. Okay. So we all know that the entrance to the yeah, vault right. was on the roof that led through a bunch of places and blah blah blah. So we knew that, but we just I never saw the ladder before, I guess. Yeah, it's not on this map, but it'll um But yeah, right. there's a ladder. And it's you said pointing we right to close the doors, is that correct? What's that? You could not close the main doors? Uh, you didn't try. Can we try? You can certainly go ahead and try. I am going to try. Okay. Uh, the doors close. Is there a way to bar them? Yeah, there is a bar. We'll go ahead and bar it. Okay. And then Good. we'll probably go up, up the ladder. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you got this convoy. Um, you know, you got Ash... Gemma, the Toot, Hattie. They're all getting up there in years. Right. Um, uh, the Toot goes, oh yeah, I remember this. Uh, okay. Um, so as you all climb the ladder, uh, you get on the roof of this warehouse, there is a much smaller statue resembling Ash on the roof. Pointing to a, um, kind of like a, just like a spot on the roof. It's it's pointing right down towards the roof. So it's like sitting there and it's pointing straight down, like in front of it. Almost like a portable hole type thing? Looks like uh, a roof there. Okay. It just maybe looks a, all roof. Maybe the stone a statue. Door or something. Right. All right. I, I'll, I, I'll go over and investigate it. 
Uh, roll me a perception check. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, easy enough to uh, to spot. Okay. Uh, that was in case I didn't know. Sorry. Yep. No, no, no. It's easy enough to spot. Um, you kind of know something's going on here. Uh, it is a quote unquote hidden trap door. Okay. Are you see opening if it's it? Trapped? Yeah, it's actually check to see if it's trapped. Yep. Uh, I'll say with your perception check, uh, you can see that it is not trapped. All right, then we would open it. Okay. Uh, it looks like there's like a tube big enough for medium sized creatures to like slide down. It's pretty narrow. I mean, oh boy. it should be fine. Yeah. Some <laughs> of the older members are kind of weary. Um, but yeah, it's like a tube descending into darkness. Right, it's not straight down. From, from warehouse to he from hell to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll look at Perrin. Hey. Perrin, Perrin's like, yeah, hey, yeah, I'll, I'll go. Okay. Just, just shout up a warning if you need any help, and we'll be right behind you. <laughs> okay, you, you're sliding down the tube? Slowly right. and stealthily. Uh, as uh, as you <laughs> slide you down, it's it's not so steep where you know you're like, uh oh, uh, but it it goes a little ways, um, and uh, it kind of deposits you out, um, and uh, right right by a door. All right, if Perrin says it's safe, we would then follow him down. So, with Psychic yeah. Whispers, of course. Unless he's more than yeah, a mile then, away. Then, then, then within Psychic Whispers range, I'll silently tell him to yeah, close his player. It's a mile, so yeah, I hope so. Yeah, okay. We're more yeah. than a mile <laughs> away now, we're in trouble. Yeah. Hello, uh, hello, hello, hello. Took me, took me six hours to get here. No. Um, <laughs> dimension door. <laughs> right. Dimension door, you just fly into one. You don't even know it. Um, okay. Uh, so, the... Ash, Gemma, and the Toot, and even Hattie, for that matter, they're they're kind of Hattie's like I I'll, I guess I'll go. Ash is just kind of mumbling. Yeah, I mean we would separate them enough that they all go down in between us, that kind of thing. Uh, the, the Toot and Gemma aren't too keen. Yeah, I don't expect them. Just just make sure nobody comes in behind us. Or shout a warning, or throw a rock down, or something. Okay. Uh, yeah, we could do that. But you're always welcome to join us. Yeah. Yeah, I... Gemma's like, look, uh, I don't know. Maybe. And then the, the toot is like, I'm not going down there. So. Okay, so they're gonna kinda... They'll, they'll say, we'll stay here, unless you want us to go down back down in the warehouse. No, stay here. That way okay, you're, stay you're hitting it a little us. bit better. All right. Yeah, All right. Don't walk right. around the edges, that kind of thing, because that'll okay. warn people that you're up here. Okay. All right, so everybody slides down. Um, Hattie and Ash slide down with you. Um, and you're all in this kind of a small room now. You're pretty crowded with this door in front of you. Is it locked? Mm -mm. Check it out. Uh, how do you how do you see if it's locked? You well, first I want to look at the door and, and look around it, that kind of thing, and my normal routine where I, I'll check the door, make sure it's not something crazy. You know, if it's a normal door at that point, I'll slowly try to turn the handle if there's no traps or anything like that. Yep. No, you're you're good. It's not locked. I'm looking I'm looking over his shoulder and just kind of helping him too. Okay. Yep. No, no, no. He doesn't even need the help. It's like, what are you doing? Like, oh, that, sorry, that, that was my role. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, it's not locked. Uh, it's not trapped, at least as far as you know. It has to be a pretty good trap if, if you're not detecting this. Okay. All right, so we open it up. Okay. If it'll open. All right. Um, there is this room... And you see another small statue 
of Bartholomew pointing to a trapdoor in the floor. Okay. Is there anything else in this room? It is completely empty except this uh, statue. Oh, okay. Yes. Down another. You opening window. the trap door? Well, after we check it, yes. <laughs> there you go. Um, give me a perception check. Okay. So is that? Am I checking for? So I'm checking for traps. So I'll I'll put this one in there. Okay. Um. So, uh, Lear, you're, you're looking at this. The, the floor and stuff, it's actually an illusion. Okay. The whole uh, floor? You know, you're kind of checking, and then your hand kind of slides over, and you're, it goes, like, into the quote-unquote door. Okay. So if you didn't realize it, and you walked over the spot... You'd fall. You'd fall, because there's a ladder. Okay. Oh. Now, once I go through the, the illusion, it can I see through the illusion at that point, or is it like just? No, you can't see through over, it. Yeah. Okay, you can't see through it. Um, but you know, you stick your head hand through there a little bit. You can All right, feel so like it's, a ladder there's, there. There's no traps or anything, though, and, and it nope. looked, Okay, so yep. we'd start going down. I'd obviously tell everybody what's going on there, but yep. Okay. All right. Uh, so this this trap door, uh, you. You come down, um, and uh, it it's, leads you into another room with another door. All right. Check it again uh, for traps. And roll me perception. Well, i got to find remove traps, so is that okay? Uh, okay it's with my yeah. thieves' souls or not? Uh, if, he's ever, if he's ever unsure, I would have a look as well. Yeah, these tools. It doesn't matter. It's the same role, but these okay. tools is mostly. Well, no, one's one. One I use Dex. The other I use Wisdom. That's oh. why. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. I mean, I'm. I've got expertise in both. Either yeah. way, so. That, that's fine. You rolled a twenty anyway, so it doesn't matter what you used. <laughs> okay. Uh, um. Nope. Not trapped. Not locked. All right. So we'll head on down or through, whichever okay. one you, this one is. You open this door. And uh, leads to a hidden, well, it's not hidden anymore, but an inner conference room uh, with a central table and several chairs. Seated at the head of this table is Bartholomew. He goes, welcome to the Octagon Gang's former safe house. Kind of nice, really. I used to come here when I was little. Still use it as a place to plan adventures of my own, but I digress. Beneath this table is the Octagon Vault. It's impenetrable. My father was a master lockpick and knows all the tricks. So it's well protected from any sort of chicanery. Chicanery? Chicanery? Magical wards and reinforced lead prevent access through spells and portal travel. It is the bane of my existence. We need the key, and I hope by now you learn what it is. Or where I'm it sure, is. I'm sure we did. But knowing is half the game. <laughs> Who did you all talk to? We talked. Yeah. So we talked to everybody except the one mute guy, Mark. Hold on, I'm double checking. Marco. Yeah, Marco. He had a vow of silence. We we saw him and we we spoke to him kind of, but he wrote down on a notebook. So other than that, we were able to see everyone. Oh, and Alton. We spoke with him, but he didn't tell us anything. He was very indifferent. Okay. He ran, and we're very suspicious of him. Yep. Yes. So you we, spoke... We, su we suspect he will be here to... Uh, cause trouble. Tr yeah, cause trouble and or gain entry. Hmm. So you spoke, spoke to Griffin, the half-orc. Yes. Marco. Yep. Well, yep. I don't say anything, but... Did he give you any information? Yes. Uh, he wrote down yeah. in the book, yes. He, he wrote down on a piece of paper. And he said, uh, uh, what did he say? Inside her cage. Inside her cage in a singing. In, he he basically said inside her. No, wait a minute. That's 
Well, damn it. Marco wrote something down, and then that's when Ash said inside her cage in a singing voice. Okay. And what did Griffin say? Griffin said... He was going to hide it somewhere darker than his soul. His soul. Yeah, hide it darker than my soul. Gemma? Uh, yes, we talked to her. Um, she said... And got her out. She's actually up on the roof right now. Yeah. Uh, and she said that Ash was doing research on portal magic and dark rites. And then how to bind items, bind objects to another person. So we think the key might be bound to somebody else. That's just a, a thought. My thought, sorry. Not we. I think so. Lear thinks that. Yeah. Griffin thinks that. We also, uh, yeah, we, were, we also were aware that your father gave you some items and we were questioning right. whether any of those might be, be part of the a ritual. Journal, a few other things. So it's possible that he bound the key to one of those objects. I've, Have you ever read the journal? Yes, I've read it upside down every which way and backwards. Uh, I've read it in different languages, thinking maybe there's a clue there. I don't got anything in that. I see Hattie is here. Yeah, yep, she is. Uh, I... It gets kind of awkward, right? Because he does. He thinks it's his, yeah. it's her, his mother. She's got her face covered. Uh -huh. um, and Hattie, what what did you say? Um. Uh, she mentions that she was she got stabbed in the heart. Right. Um. The the night. Won't see a copper until I die. Yeah. But and she that's... got she got stabbed by the was it the knitting needle that she carries? I couldn't remember what she got stabbed with. Oh, I don't know that we know. I thought she said. Or she said um he got she he she got stabbed by ash in the heart. Oh, so we didn't know with what? No. Yeah. She mentioned I was thinking maybe... Yeah, so I thought maybe that was part of... Afterwards, I thought that might have been part of the ritual, and whatever that item was, was the closest thing to her heart, because he stabbed her. So that's how he bound it. That's what I thought after the fact. But okay. I never got a chance to ask, so... You spoke because to the, the toot? Yes. We did. He said that Ash was a planner, always reading books in the warehouse. Uh, par party ended because of Alton. Yeah. Oh. Did he mention anything about the... Anything else besides all that stuff? I'm looking. Maybe. So I, oh, uh, no, Hattie said something, it was a ritual, about a ritual. Yeah, did he say they won't see a copper till I die? I'm not sure, which, no. Maybe. Anyway, so it, it, I have the whole thing. It's darker than my soul, close to my heart, inside her cage, won't see a copper until I die. Wait, he, okay. He did say that Alton tried to blackmail Ash. Okay. And then Alton is the one that dif disfigured Hattie. Yep. Basically okay. tortured her for everything she knew, which was not a whole lot. Okay. Um, so he slides across a bag of gold. Sweet. You'll see that there's 600 gold pieces in there. Yep, that's six of the seven. That makes sense. Okay. So, I'm going to put that in your inventory here in a second. So you have 603. So, read that, uh, read all that again to me as far as the clues. 
Uh, the ritual includes darker than my soul, close to my heart, inside her cage, won't see a copper until I die. What's your theories? Uh, it also we also knew from uh, Eloise that that you had to keep the vault key close to his chest or close to his vest is what she said, but you know it's close to the heart. Yeah. I'll look at Hattie. I think she's the key. Right. So that's what because she got stabbed in the heart. So that's yeah. kind of why I thought that. Maybe she needs to say the ritual. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Ritual darker than my soul, close to my heart, inside her cage, won't see a copper till I die. Yeah, ins I don't know what the inside her cage part is, unless the cage is her insecurities inside of her. I don't know. I don't, I don't know that part. I think you have to stab one of them. What? In the heart. One of who? Hattie or Ash. Oh, that's gotta be. You Ash. saying that? Bartholomew's saying that. Why do you think that? So, this ritual didn't make a lot of sense to me, but there is a slight mention at the end of this journal about it. And based on those clues, it's a binding ritual between two people to hide something. So when he stabbed her that night, it locked it. It locked the key in her heart, or his heart, or both. I don't know. Where is his body located? He's with us. Yeah, he's, he's right here. there. So, so it sounds like Hattie's. Oh, that's stab right. That's him. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. So Hattie might have to stab him to unlock it. Didn't um? Wasn't one of the possessions like a knife or a something? And, and like it specifically either? says you won't see a copper until I die, and that was his ritual. So, so when you say that, Perrin, he. He's like, yes. He reveals a dark blue-black dagger with a multi-curved, jagged-looking blade. He says this dagger might if, be the key. Do you mind if our wizard friend has a quick look at it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, she can. Uh, he, he goes, it was among my father's possessions when they found him wandering around. I confess I tried it in the vault more than once, thinking it might unlock something. But now I realize perhaps the only way to open up the vault is to open either Hattie or Ash up with it. And then I'm going to be that. honest, I don't know if I got the stomach for that. I think Hattie has to do it. Right. Uh, and he, he produces it um, for you, Pistolette, if you want to look at it at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Griff. I think that Addy has to do it as part of the ritual. Like, he did it to her. She now has to do it to him to reverse it. And then that will make the dagger the key at that point, I think. Yeah. I just don't know whether he has or to die or not. not. We don't, I don't. I don't have any way to bring someone back. But as long as no. he's not dead, I can. I can heal him. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, what? Yeah. The vault key is the dagger. Keep the vault key close to his chest. Right. Uh. So yeah, he he's got this dagger. Uh, get, uh sorry, Alan. I think you were on mute. If you said anything. I said I'm still on the roof wondering where everybody went. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the 
fuck? Where's everyone? <laughs> so can I come <laughs> down yet? <laughs> Save! Can I go? Guys? Hello? I'll just fly it. I can fly down. <laughs> Are you oh. sure? That's funny. Uh... Uh, yeah, so, I mean, sorry. I, sorry, I didn't know you were still up there. I thought everybody came down. Yeah, I thought you did, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm fluttering around. You know me. Okay. Uh, so anyway, they're in this, like, secret kind of place, if you want to come on down, pistol that. They're, they're okay. offering this dagger to you to it's look at. To get to. It's magical. It's pretty easy to get to. You just got to follow the statues. Hey, I'm with them. I'm yeah. just joking. Okay. It's funny, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a look at the dagger and cast the deck magic on it. Okay. See what kind of magic. So, you cast. Uh, are you waiting 10 minutes or what What are you doing here? Are you going to just. Oh, I'll cast it. Cast you it. Just flat out cast it. Okay. Yep. So, uh, when you cast the tech magic, um, you see um, that the dagger glows, but it's not. You don't get anything as, as to what the school of magic it's from. It kind of flickers. Like it's magical, but the the magic hasn't been activated. Okay, I'll cast Identify on it. Okay. Uh, mark off the, the spell slots. Um, <laughs> so from the Identify spell, you get a, a... You get the School of Magic. It's Necromancy. Um, and... It, it doesn't... You, you almost hear... When you cast Identify on it, it's not like a, a plus one dagger or anything like that. This dagger was used in a dark ritual. Uh, and what you're getting from this rit ritual is that um, to have it quote-unquote activate, you need to stab either Hattie or Ash in the heart. Which I can't know which dagger. one? Or is it either one? Either one. Okay. Wow. To activate the dagger. On there we go. Well, I still think do, do we leave it up to them to decide who dies? No, I should get stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one who did uh, it. And he, he 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 hears his name and he goes candy and he offers you a candy griff. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stealing candy from a dead man. Yeah. Uh as he gives you the candy, uh you hear the shouting of Alton Altson echoing from it. off the warehouse walls. We know you're in there. And we know you've got the vault key. We know you got to stab that son of a bitch in the in the in the heart. We've been listening to it all. Get out here. Out where? Out in the open of the warehouse. Can we even get out? Uh, Bartholomew goes. There's a. A lot easier way to get out of here than it is That's to get good. in. Because I wasn't going to fly up the chute, I don't think. No. That's fine. No, 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 no. No, no, no. So he goes, yeah, we can... Um, and, and he looks over to the left at the wall. He goes, this is kind of like an extra-dimensional pocket. It only leads back out into the warehouse. All right. And then you hear Alton shouting, "We've got the Tootin' and uh, Gemma here too." Wait, wait. 
Why go he said we. He did say oh, that's we. right. He went to the Zentarum. I forgot he went to the yeah. tavern and get all, got a bunch of mercenaries. Right. Just so before we go upstairs, fellas, is there anything we want to do to prepare? I think we know what's going down. You don't have time to prepare. Damn it. I don't have six seconds. You don't have six stop. seconds. Before I go out. Anything you prepare for, we'll know. We know your every word. <laughs> I'll just kind of well. shrug. Huh? I'll think in my head to the guys. Are, are we going out there? We're going to have to, right? We don't, I mean, Gemma and the two will die if we don't. And we all want to kill this Ashton dude anyway, so. <laughs> he he goes, uh, we'll, uh, we can negotiate. All right. Under the guise of negotiation, let's go out there. Okay. So, uh, Bartholomew will lead you right through this wall. Right, hopefully I don't break uh, fantasy rounds on this. So. Alright. So you see. Uh, no, she's already she's already there. Gemma's there. Hang on. Hattie's already there. The toot's there. Toot's already there. The only thing person I don't see is Bartholomew. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Bartholomew is... He's there. Okay, so let me get Bartholomew up. And so I'm going to bring the toot over here. So you see uh, Alton kind of right there. You nice. see your buddy Griffin. Oh. Oh. You see Eloise. Alton's wife. You also see Marco. And you see a um, couple bandits. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to show. Uh, but you don't see them all. A couple bandits. Uh, because they're behind the outside of our site. You mean? Yep. that there's that 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 Ash is already there let's get rid of him there's that guy there's that guy there's that guy and that's everyone um and hang on let me put on Alton, there's a light on him. Sorry. That was an effect. Okay, uh, so Alton basically goes, here's, here's the deal. We get 75% of what's rightfully ours because that is our treasure. And we'll leave you with 25%. Suppose that. You mean 75% to be split up to the seven party members? Right. So we'll take 75% of whatever's in the vault. And you get 25%. 
considering we were getting nothing before, that's not a bad deal. Uh, right. So I, say, I, that, I, I, what I'm trying to clarify is that he's not talking about him and the bandits get 75%, but him and the other six party members get 75%. No, no, no. That's what I thought. All of us here, my friends, my new friends included, get 75%. Because I asked them for their aid. Well, I mean. And then you guys get 25%. And I'll let you have maybe a magic item out of there. So, I'm, I'm just curious. How were you able to give away your other party members' shares? So, wouldn't your share pay for your bandits that you hired that you didn't need? Because it's already your treasure. Well, I've didn't know uh and you see the toot and gemma are not they're kind of restrained they're not they're not with quote unquote alt right they're still right. captives yeah they're like captives if you will um and he goes look i don't know if you would agree to it so i had to bring some help well from whatever you did last he time you met he's not in his right mind anyway but I think the only fair thing here is that the four of you get 40%, and you give your bandit friends 10%. And, uh, and then, Ash, and then Abby, when we get Gemma, all the magic items. Roderick, I'll get 40%, and we get 10%. So basically, everyone gets 10%. We get 75% of whatever's in the, tr in the vault. I thought you said this was a negotiation. Yes. Okay. So we're counting with you get 50%. And you pay the bandits out of your half. 70%. 50%. I thought this was a negotiation. Damn you. Griffin, you're willing to oh. give up your portion of the party treasure to Ashton? Me? No, Griffin. Oh. To, to Ash? Or yeah. Alt? Or Alton. who are you talking about? I, I said Griffin. You're willing yeah. to give up your portion of the treasure to Ashton to be able to give to, or Alton, I'm sorry, I said Ashton. Alton yeah. to give up to these other bandits? I'll get it, I'll get it back anyway. It's all right. I mean, how these much, other bandits uh, how much... are, aren't going to get that much. Well, as we're negotiating, how much uh, treasure do you guys think is in there? How much how much gold are we talking about here? I don't know. I guess. I don't know how much that bastard, you know, pissed um, away. Fifty five percent. Because I would. What do we? What? What have we said? Uh, we don't care about the gold. We just want the magic items. No. That's what probably worth a lot more than offering? the gold that's in there. Oh well, yeah, yeah, but I mean. I mean, you yeah. Use, like, a, you couldn't use a sword. Or an axe. Okay. So I what, can sell it. Know, what, what percentage of the magic items are you going to give us? And who gets first pick? I, I get... What do you mean, who gets first pick? <laughs> well, let's, let's say there's... I mean, it's pretty obvious who gets first pick. One of the other but party members? I turn to, to Bart and say, Bart, what's your offer? We kill these guys. How much? What you, what you, what's our share? Uh, Bart goes for all the surviving party members. I think they should get a fair share. So we would divvy it up amongst who's ever left. Right, that's what I would think too. Right. Yeah. Hey, but what if they all? What if they're all dead except you and us? Well, we all get fair shares. I've I've got a lot of money. I don't necessarily need it. I'm just trying to figure out what's in there, and we can negotiate as far as the magic items. I don't really need the gold. I mean, I just I just gave you 600 gold pieces. All right. So if we kill these guys, we get a good share of the gold, and we'll talk about magic items. Absolutely. 
All right, Wizard, you got a better offer? Yeah, actually, I do. Um, you... We'll take... We'll take... I'll be fair. We'll take 65%. We'll talk about the magic items, and you live. I kind of think that's fair, because the other 35% is basically going to go to us and Hattie, because Hattie's going to stab Ash anyway. I want to right. uh, roll an insight check to see if I believe him. Do I trust bullshit, or do I believe him? Sure, you can, you can roll go ahead and roll insight. It's got a nice... Okay. Uh, Alton. Where the hell is Alton? I'm at. I'm assuming he's got high intelligence, but... Yeah. Do we think that Griffin and Marco are with him? They are definitely with him, yeah. along with his wife. Okay. So the only two over on that side that are not really with them is the Toot and Gemma. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Um. Yeah, Perrin, you're looking at him, and you can't really, you can't really tell. I mean, seems to be telling the truth. Uh, for the first time, you see this other guy kind of walk over, and he's like, look. I think we should take the 65. I think, based on what's in there from what I'm hearing from all of you, is that we should just take all of it and kill you. You see kind of Alton turn around, and he's like, that's not part of the deal. Uh, and and this guy here, he goes, new deal. You don't, you don't comply by my new rules, then you'll have to worry about those in term. I'll just say, damn it, Alton. Alton's like, that. that's not part of the deal. I'm getting my spear ready. Uh, and uh, you see kind of Griffin turn, Marco turn, and uh, they all kind of look, and Alton just goes, fine, new deal. You die, we take it all. Fuck. Roll for initiative. Yep. All right. Bum, bum, I knew that's, gonna, that's where we're going to end up, right? <laughs> I mean, it kind of had to happen eventually. Oh, it kind of had. Oh boy. Uh oh. That's not good. God oh, damn it! What are you doing? Oh, Griff. <laughs> Griff. What? Who's your inspiration? Do I have one? No, I don't. I don't either. Uh, I I looked. <laughs> All right, you got. I gotta get Ash going. <laughs> Pistolette, roll for her initiative. There you go. All right. There you go. Fire in the ball. Fire them all. I gotta roll for Ash. Fire He's, them all. Little did you know. He is gonna be awesome. All right, seventeen. Okay, guess who's first? Oh, get him, pistolet. Pistolet. Hey. Well, there's a lot of bandits. Yeah. There's a bunch probably up around the corner. So. Yeah, I guess that's going to be a fireball. You're going to nice. get counterspelled. I guess it's not going to be a fireball. <laughs> it's going to be a low level fireball. fireball? <laughs> I, think, I thought you said firebolt. <laughs> Mark off the spell slot as Alton counterspells you. And Okay. Would you like to stay there? I'm going to flutter this way. Okay. Very good. Okay. Hey, hi. Close to the ceiling. Okay. Hang on. 
Let me get Alton up so I can mark off the spell slot for him too. Uh, let's do that. All right, very good, Alton. Good job. All right, Ash. He kind of five, ten, fifteen. What the fuck are you doing? Twenty. And he is going over to kind of those crates, and he's gonna sit down. Uh, so he's prone. Well, I hope the dagger still works if he's dead. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what do you mean? Come on. Prone. Ash is now prone. And he just takes out a candy. That's his action. Okay. Eloise. Uh, so she was using a cane. Uh, she was kind of hunched over uh, when you saw her. Still has a cane. Still kind of hunched over. Um, and uh, she looks at Gemma. And she goes, uh, Nighty night, sweetheart. And Her she's sister? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yep. She jumps up in the air and fucking roundhouse kicks her sister. Damn. And Old. she's going to hit. Uh, her sister takes eight points of damage. Has to do a strength saving. And she does do a strength saving um, save. Uh, so she is not prone. Uh, hmm. And she gets two more attacks. As she she's going after her sister. Hits again. Damn. And another strength saving throw. This one she fails and you see Gemma just basically fall down to the ground. She is now prone and her favorite feature, she is also stunned. Gemma runs over to you and it's like Yoda kind of jumping all over the place. She's getting stabbed as soon as she comes into my range. Okay, absolutely. Go ahead. That is a hit. All right. All right. You get her pretty good. Uh, she kind of takes it, and she's going to roundhouse kick you, Griff. Oof. Uh, you can tell she's probably some sort of monk. Yeah, that's right. And she hits. Oh, fuck. You're going to take nine points of damage. Uh, you did have the one temporary hit point. From the candy. Uh, and here's your strength saving throw. Oh, god damn it. You are now prone and stunned. Oof. Until the, the end of her next turn. Yep. You see the toot. Goes, god damn it, Alton. And he turns around. Uh, and he, uh, doesn't have his sword, but does have spells, and he's going to use a second level one. He is going to cast, oh, let's see here, he's going to cast Shatter. And that's on a 10-foot radius. So he's going to put it right there. So he's going to get these guys. Uh, he's going to target this guy. This is a turn. Captain. Alton. And Griffin. All right, Constitution saving throw. Nice. 
And that's going to be... You just hear this loud... And all these crates and shit explode as they take uh, 14 points of damage, uh, except for Griffin, who takes 7. Uh, and that is his turn. This one... 5, 10, 20, 25, 30... He hears the, all these like crates, all this wood goes flying in the air from the shattered. Uh, he kind of looks over the situation, and he's going to shoot the toot with his uh, light crossbow. And he's going to hit the toot. As he makes a little toot, he gets hit for eight damage. Bart is up. And he's going to go 5, 10, 15. And he's like, Dad, get the fuck up. What are you doing? Uh, and he's going to turn to Eloise. And what is this? Okay. He is going to attack Eloise three times. Two with the rapier, one with the dagger. First attack. Is a hit as he slices into her for seven damage. Second attack. Ooh, it's a miss. And then the dagger is a nat 20. Uh oh. Oh my god. Is, is a dagger piercing? So she kind of like tries to jump over this and his dagger goes directly splitting her kneecap. Ow. She is now prone. Her movement is reduced to half speed. Uh Yep. And so she's half she can no longer jump. She's prone at this time and at half speed. So let me do damage. Only eight damage, uh, which isn't great, but now she is prone. So let me put that effect on her. And he is going to do a bonus action. Where are you, Eloise? Bonus action, disengage. And he's going to go right back in his spot in the corner. And Ooh. that's that. Griffin, he uh, he did not appreciate that shatter, to say the least. And he's going after the toot. Uh, and he gets three attacks with his greatsword. See you later, toot. And he missed. Second attack is a hit. For 16 damage. And last attack is a miss. Wow. Yeah. Whew. Alton's turn. Um... He is. What is that? Fifth level spell. He is going to cast Ah, it's tough. He's drunk. Okay, so he's not going to cast that. He's not thinking straight. 
He's going to cast Fireball. And he doesn't care. He's going to point it. It's a 20-foot radius. He's going to get uh, he's gonna get everybody, including Eloise, his wife. Okay. So let's. Uh, oops, not Bartholomew. Uh, let's see here. Why is it not clicking on the correct people here? There we go. I'm assuming I'm in the radius, obviously, right? Yep. Everybody. Our action is going to be to uh, absorb elements. Okay. I'll put that on myself, and I'll put this on myself. He's going to take an extra 1d6 if I hit him next. Okay. And here we go. Oh, and he should be he targeting, uh, what's her face, too, on the floor? Eloise? Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah, Eloise. Yeah. Yep. She's not targeted. Yep. Uh, she is. Yeah. Well, according to the map, anyway, I don't know. Griffin. Uh, Gemma, ooh, but yeah, hang on. There, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yep, I was thanks. just watching the map in it. Yeah, I've got so many lines. You should see yeah. my map. I should take uh, I'm sure <laughs> out of this shit. This is amazing. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, here we go. Here goes Fantasy Grounds. Nice. All right. Well, for some. Right. Oh, I, I can take half anyway, so. But if someone's going to fail, it might as well be me. Okay. Ash gets burnt to a crisp. 30 points of damage. Um, it gave me the full 30, by the way. It should have only been half. No way. Uh, let's see here. Perrin did. Uh, you failed, but you should only take. All right, so put. Let's see where you're at. I'll change Perrin. the wound to 15 instead of 30. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay. And he's and and like shit's on fire now. Warehouse is kind of on fire. Uh, not like major fire or anything like that. Uh, and that's uh, that's his turn. It, dumb question. Like, if his wife was prone, like, should she have even gotten the save? You can still He's, save. It's still same, yeah. Yeah, it's still the okay. same. Okay, I'm just curious. Um, you do I mean, see it... that Hattie completely evaded it. She did not even get singed. Nice. Yeah, she's got evasion. I don't get that till 300 points. <laughs> till, yep. till this. Uh, I gotta mark off the spell slot. Hang out for him. Okay. Okay. That's his turn. Thug. Uh, five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Oh, Toot's gone, too. The Toot is dead, yes. Yep. So, oh, a couple things. When Ash dies, you see a couple things. You see the dagger in um, Bartholomew's hand light up. On Hattie, you see her chest starts to like where her scar is where she got stabbed you can kind of see it a little bit starts to light up as well as ash died hmm. uh, this guy did not bring his crossbow so he's just gonna dash and he goes right there it's his turn Hattie, um, 
she's going to uh, see Eloise here on the ground. And she is going to make two attacks with her dagger. Nice. Uh, so... With the vantage, she hits. Let's see if this works. And she does... 22 points of damage. Uh, and Eloise is not looking good. Her second attack with her dagger. Hits. And Eloise gets another seven. Uh, and I think that's everything that she can do. Uh, what's her bonus action? Um, she's actually kind of going to go over in these crates and actually try to hide as much as she can a bonus action. Uh, and she's going to do it really well. She kind of melts into the into the stack of crates over there that are somewhat on fire. Okay. Perrin, you're up. Okay. So, first question is if I look way that I see the map, it looks like the environment, like if I step up like 10 feet across the barrels, I'm going to be in shadow or darkness? Is that true? Or is that a wall? I can't really tell. So this is, yeah, so this is a doorway that you saw the like, thug. Like, oh, okay, so there's no, the nothing up here then. Okay. Nope, nope. That's no, a wall. In, okay, so I am where I am kind of thing. Yep, yep. Alright, well then let's light up the wizard. He's going to get some crossbow bolts with faith, so it's a straight roll, right? No, nothing yep. with advantage, obviously. Correct. Um, but he's going to get... He's going to become... If I hit him, I'm going to I'm gonna activate my favorite throw as well. Okay. And the first time I hit him, he's also going to take an extra 1d6 from the uh, elemental observed elements. Okay. So, Q number one. Q. It's a hit. Okay, so I'm turning on favored foe. Yep. And... Maybe my favorite wizard to whack. Oh, come on. Where's favorite foe? There. That'd be a fact. My favorite enemy. Tell him. Okay, favorite foe. So putting that effect on. Okay, now we're rolling damage, and there's going to be some extra dice in here. Okay. There should have been one more extra d6, actually. I'm rolling the d6 for the... Favored foe, and the other thing should have like, gotten him. What other thing? Absorb elements should be an extra d6 as well. Oh, okay. All right, let me put another one on him. Where you at all? Okay, yes. All right, next one will be Umbral Attack. Okay. The Dread Ambusher. Yeah. Doing again. That's a hit. the favorite foe. Okay. Red Ambusher is done. Um, that was my Third second attack. attack. Yep. And... Mm-hmm. It hits. Yep. And then lastly, the bonus action. That's it. Come on, die, you fucker. Oh, he's still up. He's still up. He took, uh, he's looking he pretty rough. Lot. He just took all those four bolts. Um, but yeah. He's a lot. He's pew, 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 pew. Yep. This guy. Five, ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. He dashes. Marco. Polo. You see him. He. I mean, he sees Ash dead. He sees the two dead. He um. He. 
He's and he sees like uh, Gemma in front of him, kind of down. Um, and he's gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty. As he kind of goes back in the corner, uh, he's not really interested in fighting. Lear. All right. Um. Shoot. Uh, yeah. What I was going to do is completely change now. So I am going to... Uh... No, I'm still going to do it. Bonus action, disengage. Step down here. And 15... 20, 25 to there. And then attack Eloise, who is still prone. Yes. And adjacent to Griff. Yeah, Griffin can't help you. He's stunned, so it yeah. wouldn't really. But you're, you get advantage anyway because she's prone, right. so yeah. it doesn't matter. Right. So I am going to melee attack Psychic Blades her. Yep, that one. Miss. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. That's all I get. Uh, so hold on. It's. Uh, What's your offhand? Uh, Don't you get an offhand? Only for a bonus attack, and I use my bonus action to disengage. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, so yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh. Oh, because this guy's dead. I was like, why did we skip this guy? So Gemma is uh, stunned. Never mind. Bandit Captain. Uh, he moves. He kind of sees Marco go in the back, right? And he's like, you better get your ass up here or you're going to die. And he's going to run over here to... Gemma and he's um he's gonna stab her uh let's see here she ain't lasting he's gonna, he's gonna hit he's gonna take some damage second attack he's gonna hit again And last attack with dagger hits. Okay, she's still up though. She's still alive, I should say. Uh, so you see this bandit. He comes around, and he uh, he rolls up behind Alton there. And as you're looking at him. Um, hang on one sec. Uh, as you're look, as you're looking at him, is it Mel? He kind of changes form, and it's not. It is Mel that's behind him. Nice. Woohoo! that no we don't want another bandit captain out there that'd be rough have the wrong one why is it taking the bandit captain really i click on mel and i get the bandit captain oh well there you go oh the token you mean yeah it's kind of funny anyway uh, and he, he rolls up behind Alton. Alton's like, what are you doing? And he's like, well, they're paying me. Sorry, dude. Uh, and he's going to have a vantage on this because he is completely and utterly surprised. 
Ah, the doppelganger has advantage on attack rolls against any creature it's surprised. And he is going to slam this guy. And he's going to hit. For seven. And second attack. He's going to hit. For another ten. Uh, Alton does not look good. Shit. He's like taking like fifty ish damage, I think. Right. He's heavy though. He I does gotta go not look it. good. I will we need, say we that. need this fucker down. I know. Okay, so this guy five dashes thirty five forty forty five. That's his turn. She is wearing a tight bra. Forty. He dashes to there. This one. Thirty, thirty-five, forty. That's his turn. And last but certainly not least, five, ten. He's like, hey, what the hell, dude? And he goes up to Mel and he. He goes to stab Mel with the scimitar. And he hits. Mel takes five points of damage. Griff, you're stunned. Sorry. Uh, uh, I'm like, Griff, get up! Pistolet, you're up. I'm tired. So, uh, you're flying up there, Pistolet. You see Alton's in pretty bad shape. He's not even really like looking at you as he turned around. I go from there. Is the other guy getting in the back of opportunity, or am I too high? Uh, he's he's on the crates. He's trying to get. He's trying to go after you. Um, but it is a high. Um, I'll 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 say that you're too high for him to to get an opportunity to attack. So you could you can kind of fly around if you want. I put it here. Twenty's pretty big. Yes. Twenty is huge. So he did a fireball in this room. Yes. He did. There's shit on fire, but it's not like right now. It doesn't look like it'll cause an inferno. Now, if somebody doesn't do shit about it, and and some, yeah. I'm just wondering how it could fit. He put it in the corner, so he put it right here because they were all back. Still, and it and it got only. Because if you move that circle, oops, if you move the circle, you'll see that he was able to get only you guys. Uh, well, he got what's her face too, but she, yeah, he got his, yeah, so what, 20? 20, that's 25. So maybe if I can move the damn thing, if it'll allow me. But he put it right there. Or he could even put it here. You, you can do it, so you can do it, and it doesn't have to go the full 20 feet, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it won't blow out the walls or anything. So you can still fit it in there. No problem. Is this a lot evoker? A what? 
an evoker? Like, did he have the have the safe spot magic? No, I don't. What do you got, Pistolette? Oh, you got some spells. Yeah, I don't know. If you want to like fly around or whatever, I don't know. Try to get a better spot or. Well, is everybody else that's in the way? Yeah. That's the problem. Mel's kind of beefy, isn't he? Uh. <laughs> He's got 44 hit points and he got hit for five. That would work too. Who's who's that? Somebody is dead. Oh, that's Ash. That's Ash. Ash. Yes. All right. Yeah, he's dead. So he was incinerated in my... Yeah. Yeah, that would get all them. Yep. That's five. Either, either that or I go single target. How bad is Alton? Really bad. I mean, yeah. if you had to calculate it, he probably has like... He's like a, either a level one magic missile spell away from dying? <laughs> I would say that... That's pretty good. It I mean, that could be 12, right? Really bad. Right. <laughs> uh, he, he, he's... He's, yeah, he's not showing door. critical yet, Gout, though. He's on so. death's door. Hopefully. Yeah, I'll try that. I'll shatter this place. Shatter it. Shatter, shatter. Do it. The other ones have high constitution. So make sure you say that. Okay, yeah. Oh, good. All right. You got Alton and Alton failed, though. That's the. Doesn't matter. He had one hit point. Yeah. So oh, okay. I'm surprised he didn't show his critical then. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't think I got that level. Oh, three. you okay. Yeah. Okay, so you kill. Alton dies. Uh, who else did you kill? Let's get rid of Alton. You kill the bandit who was well built. And I think that's everybody. Yep. I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Cool. Ash is dead. Get out of here, Ash. Eloise. Uh, she sees that her husband was dead. She stands up, so that's half her movement, which was already halved. So, um, she is going to go after you, Lear, with a, with a punch, because she can't okay. jump up and kick anymore. She's going to try to punch right. you right in your kneecap. If she hits, I'm dodging it. All right. Why does she... Oh, because I got prone. She's still prone, probably? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yep. Take that off. And... There you go. Uh, all right, 
so let's reroll that. Uh, she hits. Alright. Eight, reduced down to four. Strength saving throw. You fail. You are now prone and stunned. That's what I thought. Uh, and she is going to five, ten. That's all her movement left. She starts kind of like crawling and limping away. Right, so Griff's no longer stunned. That's good. Now he is no longer stunned after her turn. Yep. Yep. Whew. Uh, this guy, he's going to move around and he's going to get advantage on Mel. With the, uh, mm. the scimitar. And he's going to miss. Bart. Five. He's going to go after this guy with his rapier. Gonna hit. Gonna stab him. Actually use his dagger here. Hits. Kills that guy. Gonna move around here uh, and get advantage on this guy with his rapier for his last attack. And he's gonna hit. Ooh, just bounced off and he kills that guy. Nice. Uh, and then he's gonna bonus action disengage and go right back where he was. Griffin. Griffin doesn't look too pleased. So he's going to five, and then as he moves, Gemma's going to attack it, even though she's prone. Yeah. Cool. So she's going to get uh, disadvantage on it. Should automatically do it, won't it? Yeah, she probably should. And let's see what she can do. Gemma. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh. Well, yeah. It's with disadvantage. But you see her cast uh, something that Griff uh, does an Eldritch Blast. She's able to do that. Oh, she got him targeted. Target that boy, a boy. B. And she missed. She can't. She can't get him. But Griffin. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. It's like you and me again, big boy. Talking to you, Griff. Sorry, I was muted. Yeah, wait, yeah. you just wait till I get up. Oh, that's right, you're prone. Well, I can suppose I can still stab him, right? You can still stab him, yeah, it's with right. disadvantage, but you can still stab his ass. Yeah. But he's not stunned anymore, so. Right, right, but he's still prone. As as you are. Everybody's prone, it looks like. But yeah, go All ahead right, and uh, stab right. at him, Griff. Alright, uh. Oh yeah! Nice, oh, sweet. Stab him right in the shin. All right. Yeah, as he comes running up there. Um. And he is. I'm gonna take a couple attacks. Yeah, I'm dead. It's gonna be a hit. Thirteen damage. That it? Yep. That's it for you. 
Uh, and then he's looking at you, Perrin, so... Oh, that's right, you're... No, he's going to actually go after Hattie. Uh, as he sees the glowing... Kind of her glowing chest, he's like, Alright, you need to die now, bitch. And... He hits her. And his third attack misses. Alright, this guy... He's going to go over here. Uh, he's going to look at you, Perrin. Uh, he's going to take, he's got a heavy mace. And he's going to hit. Four damage. Second attack. Is a nat 20. Uh, okay. Nothing happens. We're not doing that. You take 13 more points of damage, Perrin. Alright. Am. Yeah. Hattie. Fucked in like that. Uh. How can she get advantage? Can't. She's hidden. Actually. Oh, that's right. That's right. He would have never been able to hit her. Uh, oh, whatever. Thanks for the reminder. Um, yeah. Well, fuck it. She's going to get advantage on this. Messed that up. Sorry, guys. But yeah, she's going to get advantage. I forgot until you said how she's going to get advantage. Yeah. He stabbed at a crate and it went right into her. Right. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> he saw uh, she went in there. He didn't know it. Yeah. And then she springs out and she's going to get advantage on him. Uh, and she attacks with her dagger. Oh yeah, she hits. So let's put this. That's good. 17 damage and his her next attack for another 9. Uh and Griffin he uh, good old Griff. Yeah, he's he didn't like that at all. Uh, she's gonna take a bonus action, disengage. It's gonna be her turn. Perrin. All right. Um. I don't like the guy whacking me, so I think I'm going to whack him back. Uh, crossbow expert, I can pew him from up close, so okay. he's going to get some pews. Okay. So, pew one. To hit. And damage. And hold on, let me just make sure I have all the effects off. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I needed to remove this one, because he's no longer my favorite target. Okay. Yep. He could be, if you so, want to. Uh, I don't think I want to burn that one just yet. Okay. And then we're going to hit him again. Yeah. Yep. And take more damage. He's looking really and rough. And we're going to have to do it a third time. Oh. And he's going to take lots of damage. <laughs> uh, nothing on the... Uh, okay. On the well, end. hopefully this will oh, at least yeah. kill him. Yep. All right, good. So he's dead. He's dead. Uh, yeah, and I can't really move because of the guy on top of me, so... Um... See Marco. All his uh, all his friends are kind of dying. He's gonna go five, ten, fifteen, and then he's gonna slam into the wall because he can't see shit because it's dark. That's his turn. Lear, you're stunned and prone. Yep, stunned and prone. Gemma. Stands up. She's no longer prone. And, uh... She is going to... 
Take out her sister. <laughs> I don't know. She is going to. Uh, look at. Uh, does she want the bandit captain? Griffin. She's going to look at Griffin. And she is going to cast. Understandable. Uh, let's see here. She's going to cast. Let's see how charismatic he is. All Not of a sudden, very... you see Griffin disappear. Banished. And that's going to be her turn. Mel. What the fuck? He's like, man, you guys are really get in a lot of fights, you know that? Uh-huh. And he is going to attack this guy. Rolls a nat 20. Oh, no. He's going to take the... Definitely. The, and that guy, he just punches this dude dead in the fucking jaw and kills him. Turns around to this guy. This other guy's like, uh, what? And he hit him. Mel punches him right across the face, but he's, uh, he's still up. Uh, bandit captain. Poor Gemma. She's about to die. Yeah. Couldn't get away from him. Well, that might not be the best thing to do if I was the bandit captain, but, you know, I'm not playing the bandit captain. Oh, wait. Uh, he's going to attack him. Oh, it teetered on the three. Concentration's good. She takes the hit. Second attack. That's a hit. Concentration's still good. And the last attack. Stay alive. Stay alive. Is a miss. Oh, sweet. That's she nice. barely gets out of the way of that. All right, this guy is dead. This guy is dead. This bandit. She's alive. And she's going to go after you, Heron. I don't know. I, I kind of don't mind it with the tight bra. I mean, it's impressive. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. She rolled the <laughs> Nothing happened. And that's her turn. Griff. I lean forward and the one for the ball. Roll me. <laughs> Roll me one of them uh, 20s. All right, well. I'll take it. It's just another oh, shit, battle. Oh, down? I didn't even notice. Wait a minute. I thought, oh, I thought he was, something happened to him. I thought he went away or something, you said. No, he's. Oh, no, that's yeah, Griffin. Griffin did, yes. Griffin is not there. Okay. So, Pistol Ed, it's oh, your turn. This guy is banished as of right now. Okay. That was a guess, by the way. That's cool. Yeah. So, what's the rule with uh, potions and uh, bonus actions? Bonus action. If you feed it to somebody else, it's an action. If you drink one, it's a bonus action. I can get him up on my turn. I apologize. Oh. I didn't even notice. I would have gotten off my my last turn if I noticed. That. It's not a fight. So it's, 
It's not a fight if Griff isn't down. No, right? Hey, he goes down more than a 10 cent hooker. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> dollar beer night. Yeah. I can go in someone else's spot attacking yeah. leaves, right? Yeah, yep, absolutely. Who are you attacking? Especially since you're flying. You got a knife Griffley's down. <laughs> I want his share of treasure. That's the cool shirt. I'm trying to leave, man. He doesn't say that because he can't talk. That's not good. All right, so I'll use the scorching ray instead. Okay. Are you all attacking? What are your three bolts? Where are they going? To who? You can switch them too, obviously. But you got to call it out beforehand. Yeah, that's what you said last. Yeah. I'm going to go two on Eloise and one on Bandit. Captain. Below oh. Thingy. This guy? Yeah. Okay. Start with her. That's a hit. No! Uh, what, oh, I hope yeah. it's a hit. What the hell just happened? My whole campaign blew up. Not on our side. Uh, on my side, I had all sorts of shit going on. Let's see anything. That's a pain over here. Uh, you cast Shatter? Yeah, that's the wrong one. Oh, hang on. Let me do, uh, let me do undo that. My mouse got on the, uh, mouse okay. pad. It's okay. There you go. I did undo. It's all good. Okay. Ooh, that's a miss. Number two then. Wow, that's awesome. Thing happening? Um, you are now minus two to all your attacks until the end of your next turn. But that would come in. You 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 don't have minus two on this next beam because you shot him out first. So this one wouldn't be a minus two to your last beam. That's gonna hit. That guy burns up to a crisp. Please. You killed the withered ear. Okay, anything else, Pistolette? No, not really. Okay. All right, Eloise. She's, uh, her knee is all jacked up. She's going to go five. 10, 15, 20. So she gave her sister an opportunity to attack? Uh, her sister didn't see it. See, she, her sister sees that she's trying to get away and oh, like, okay. leave. So 25, 30, 35. But Mel doesn't care. Go for Mel. Mel's gonna be like, uh... Mel's that guy. Yeah, Mel's like, uh, where the fuck do you think you're going? You going around here trying to kill my employers? You can send your kids to the orphanage. Alright. Well, they're all grown up. It's the grandkids. Uh, <laughs> I think Mel, Mel needs a raise. I know, right? Oh, yeah. I'm getting a share. Hit, hit. Mel oh, hits. Give him a little, give him a little bonus. If it kills Eloise, you can have her share. Uh, she's still alive. <laughs> and she goes there. That's her turn. 
I'm trying to get away. Maybe I'm not stunned anymore. Yay. Oh, sorry. Yes. Bartholomew's not stunned. Uh, he's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20. He's going to jump up on these crates. And he's going to go after the captain. The Zentarum captain. First deck. Uh, I think the captain's going to... What is He can parry that. This is AC. Yep, he parries it. He parries the first attack there. Nice. Use his reaction. Yep. Uh, a second attack. Bartholomew rolls a one. Nothing happens. Dagger. Hits. Little damage. Griffin, you're not there. Hattie. Uh, she's going to go 5, 10, 15. She's going to run over here. Go after this tight broad. Tight bra. Ooh, little little girl on girl action? Going to hit. Dead. Fuck. Dead. Uh, then she's gonna kind of just hang out there in the corner as she sees that really there's only one person left. Perrin. Okay, who's the one person left? No, you got Griffin or Griff. Oh, I know, but who's the one person left? Is the the robber guy, right? This guy, yeah. Okay, I am going to cast Healing Spirit. Oh, so concentrate on that spell, and it's gonna appear right. Beside Griff, he's going to get a 1d6. He's got a single hit point. Oh, Thank shit. You. I was talking. Why didn't I go to me? Why didn't it go to me? Go to me or go to Griff? You no, you didn't go to Griff. Healed. Never mind. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it on his turn or is it on your turn? My turn. Wow. Oh, good question. You're right. Uh, the spirit looks dead. Whenever you, you or a creature you see moves into sort of space for the first time in a turn or starts a turn there. Okay, yeah, so it is on top of Griff, and then he'll get a... He'll get 1d6 at the start of his turn. Oh, sorry. Okay. So the okay. 1d6 will come at the start of his turn. All right, so he gets the 1. We'll just have him get the 1. Yep. At that, so he'll be up at the start of his turn. Okay, that was a and bonus And that's a action. bonus action? Yep. Yeah, so it's like, I see the... I banded over here. And he's going to get some pews. Couple pews. Two, one. Yes. In. Two. Hit. Edge. Yeah. And they will end my turn. Okay. Marco, he's got his hands up in the air. He can't see anything as far as what's in front of him. So he's just got his hands up in the air. That's his turn. Lear. All right. I am going to use half my movement to stand up, so I'm no yep. longer stunned or prone. Yep. Hang on. Let me take that off of you. Prone. Goodbye. Stun. Goodbye. All right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Bandit Captain. With advantage, psychic yep. blades. Yep. That twenty. That twenty. He's not gonna make it. Uh, so that's. Yeah. Sneak attack. And psychic blade damage. A lot of ones. How do you kill him? I, I mean, I just basically just whisk over there and just spin around with my blades and just slice him open. Um, and that's bonus action dash. Yep. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, <laughs> 30. Okay. Now she's going to knock me down and stun me, but she can't go by me without an opportunity attack. So she has to stay there and attack me. That's the idea. That ends my turn. Okay. Gemma. She goes, uh, Eloise. 
she's all fucked up. Travis, oh. <laughs> she's like, you want, you want your grandkids not to, you know, have a grandmother. Five, ten, fifteen. She goes, just, just stay down. And Eloise, who's, who's just jacked up. I mean, she's got the, yeah. the knees all broken and shit. She goes, fine. Fine. And she sits down. And she just kind of, as best she can, she kind of takes, like, the old monk pose. With a leg sticking out. Yeah, because she can't bend the knee. So, um, we're kind of out of combat here for a few seconds until Griffin comes back. Okay, uh, I should be able to heal Griff two more times for 1d6. Yes. Oh, sweet. And I'm gonna. It's touch one plus your too. proficiency. Bonus, yeah, I get right? three, three times total. Uh, no, I, I was I was gonna get rid of the spell, but I think I almost need some healing, right? So your proficiency one would be four and another one. I think it's four, isn't it? It's proficiency plus your plus one, right? So that'd be four. Oh, okay. Well then. Uh... How are you doing? Is I know Pestilette is gonna beat up too. How many does Griff have? Griff is, is laying on his hands. Oh, oh, Pistolette, then why don't you? Uh, I'm just touching swim. myself real quick. Yeah, you you sw Yeah, if he's touching himself, and then uh, tell Pistolette to run into the spirit real quickly and okay. target her yeah, and, give and her say hallelujah. Only for that. five. Five to Pistolette. Okay. So I'm spell for my concentration. Three rounds, four rounds, five rounds. You got thirty seconds before uh, Griffin comes back. All right. So I'm going to ask Mel to guard uh, Eloise, and then that way I can come back in there. What about this other dude, Marco? Yeah. Uh, I'm actually, I'm going to cast it again. I'm going to heal Pistol out a couple times, myself a couple times. So it's I'm going to cast another it round myself. We have four more rounds? Yeah. 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 You would have four rounds. So, okay. Mal so, goes, uh, what do you want me to do here? There's two of them. Yeah, so I'll just tell Marco to come over here and sit next to Eloise. We won't hurt him if he just... I'll just stand over her. How's that? That's fine. And Leader, Leader you're engaged because you're right. You don't need a little bit of heals? I'm um, okay. I want to stay at a distance anyway. Oh, sorry. Snake eyes for her. I'm going to cast Armor of a Gath on myself, too. Okay. Give her one more to be safe. Brutal. Myself Everybody one. just gathered around the spot here. Right, and I'm ready in an action. For, oh. So Can you when take he the... comes back, I'm going to just hurl a blade at him. Can you take prone and stunned off me? Why? Because I don't want to be prone or stunned. Like that, even. you got a couple attacks. Then I mean, come on. We're all getting ready to like gang rape the half orc, the goblin. Yeah, he's a goblin. goblin yes. Yeah. All right. So everybody holds an action. <laughs> so you get one attack, right? Yeah. Um. So we'll start at the top of the round. Hang on. And he may or may not survive this. He does have a lot of hit points. So, Pistolette, are you holding an action for when he comes back? Yeah, I'll hold that. Hold it then. Okay. Uh, so he is back. Go ahead and told they're dead. He saved. It's the one few spell I don't care losing, so nothing happens. Yeah. Eloise not doing anything. Bartholomew? Uh, hang on. There you go. Uh, he will... He will go after this guy. Look at, uh... Can you get advantage on that? On a held action, can you get advantage? Yep, as long as he's flanking, he would. Yeah. 
Okay. I mean, like, I can't do it with my bonus action steady aim or anything, but right. a flank right. is still a flank. Right. I mean, missed. That's what oh. happened to me earlier. Uh, Griffin doesn't get a turn right now. We'll go back to the start of the round, but uh, Hattie. Ooh, Hattie hits him. Be interesting. That's uh, a good, hopefully a good a, sneak she attack. She could get a sneak attack, yeah. She could get yep. a sneak attack too, right? So... Sweet. All right, advantage. Here we go. That's what I'm hoping to get too. So, but I won't have advantage on it. She hit. All right, she stabbed him pretty good. Perrin. So, meta question: Is this a new start of combat, or is this continuing the existing combat? Uh, actually, it would be. Is this, is this round one, or is this like round 12 kind of thing? <laughs> we'll keep initiative, but it would be round one. But this is a health action. So, you, it, I know you're trying to ask about Umbral, right? Yeah, yeah. So I won't use it now, but if he's still alive my next turn, then technically I would get to use it. he would be dead anyway. Yeah, if he, is, if he isn't dead. Yeah, so this is just a straight pew. It's just a single one, right? Yeah. All right. Where's my freebie? My turn. Uh, Marco's not doing anything. Lear. All right, so I will take a few steps over, so I've got a clear shot. Yep. And then target him with psychic blades, just normal attack. And then yeah. he, he's going to get this and that. Yeah. Oh, nice one. Okay. Uh, Gemma's not doing anything. Mel's not doing anything. Uh, Griff. Uh, let me see. He is, uh... <laughs> he's looking rough. Oh. Uh, that's gonna be a miss, though. All right, Crystal Lead, it's back to you. All right. Now it's the start of the round. It's got all his wisdom. Not very good. Oh, oh nice one. Yeah. Yeah, that kills him. Oh, stupid goblin! All right, uh, Eloise is uh, giving up. She's not friendly. She isn't attacking. Neither is Marco. I was like, get your ass over here, bitch. You too, there, Marco Polo. Yeah. So, um, you still see, uh, so, Bartholomew still sees the glower, uh, the glower, the dagger glowing, and he still sees, like, Hattie's chest glowing. Just, just the dagger to the vault, see if that's enough. Okay. Uh, and let's, let's take the dad's, uh, carcass, Ash's carcass with us. Uh, okay. Uh, you guys Me? can carry my dad's carcass. But I've got a bad down. feeling about this. Uh, and then he says some words, and the word, uh, the wall comes transparent. And he walks what? through. What? <laughs> he could have used that during the battle. We could have hid it in there. I know, right? <laughs> right. Also, uh, we also obviously loot the bodies. Like, I make sure, like, I know that wizard's got a, a nice ring, so... Before we let anything out of our sight, we're at least taking the, the, the ring from How the wizard and anything nice else rig? is good. How do you know he's got a nice ring? Because he teleported away from us when he touched the ring when we were cornering him, remember? Right. He doesn't have the ring on him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> to go to his house to steal it then. <laughs> it's all mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> It was all Al Samir. 
It was all mirrors. Um, so you go back into the room. Um, uh, he kind of walks over. Uh, he, he, he takes the dagger and he, and he places it on the vault. Nothing happens. Yeah. I was afraid of that. You want to try stabbing your dead dad in the heart? See if that does anything? Yeah, his and heart's like, glowing, though. Uh, I know, I know. I'm not stabbing anything. So Hattie goes... Hattie, do you want to try it? Oh, uh, she's fine. I'll stab his ass in the heart. Give me the dagger. And she goes over there, and she's like, you son of a bitch. And she, like, stabs him dead in the chest with that dagger. Nothing happens. Yeah. Can I see? Can I see that dagger for a second? She turns to you with the dagger in her hand. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> oh, I no! I just want to try stopping no. it. Maybe. Any... No. <laughs> <laughs> Here, hold this. <laughs> let, let me clean that for you. She goes, does any of you have resurrection spells? Yes. <laughs> Roll me a deception. <laughs> oh. I start taking out a potion of healing. That's a wisdom, right? Uh, let's see if she get anything to wisdom. Nope. She goes, uh, so you can bring me back then? Yeah, I can have you brought back. Of course. <laughs> okay. You're not lawful good, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, good. <laughs> uh... She goes, because if you don't, I will haunt you to the end of your days. Uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll look. Uh, I'll look at every. I'll look at my team. We we can right. Someone's got resurrection, right? I thought you did. Me? You, yeah. Oh no, not me personally. Oh. But we can, yeah, yeah. I mean, we can have you brought back. I'm sure. We know, we know Laurel Silverhand. I'm sure she can make that happen. Go ahead, we and, can... Uh, I, I've got a potion <laughs> of healing in my hand. Hand. I'm like, and you're not going to die from it anyway. You'll be wounded, but we're yeah. you'll be fine. You're going to stab me in my heart. Yeah, and we'll cure you right away. And then we're going to pour the potion on that the. I mean, he, she just witnessed. The, the healing spirit, so she kind of knows that we can heal. <laughs> she just she just <laughs> the healing spirit. May yeah. the healing spirit be with you. Yeah. Brought Griff up. She be was dead. She, yeah, she, she should be inspired. Yeah, you saw you saw Griff was down. You He's back even, up. You can even cast it first. And she can she can like sit down in it and st stab herself. I'm not stabbing myself. Oh, okay. Well when I'll stab her. When Bart stabs you. I'm not stabbing her, <laughs> Bart says. Because what? Sounds like parents okay. Actually, right? you know what? Leader would probably be the most uh, precise with the daggers. Steady handed. You got this. All right. We won't let you die. Nope. And I'll walk over with the healing potion. Okay. We have one of the Yoslin healing potions. Okay. So you're going to take this dagger. And you're going to stab her in the heart. Wherever it's glowing, yeah, if that's where it has to be, yeah. Okay. So. And I psychically whispered to everybody else, hope this doesn't kill her. <laughs> so you go, uh, roll me a couple, uh, I'm going to need a couple checks here. Okay. I'm going to have my hand on her shoulder. I mean, are you just going to fold 
take the dagger. And no, 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 no. I, I mean, Slam it. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not looking to do a crit attack or sneak attack or nothing crazy like right. that. I, right. I'm just going to slide the dagger in I mean, as like uh, Ash did. I mean, he didn't. He wasn't out to kill her either, and she lived yeah. through that one. Right, so, right. Yeah. So she's got like a scar. He can just like, you know, right, put it right back where it was, and then. So, right. roll me uh, a sleight of hand. Okay. You can't use your thieves' tools, obviously. Sleight of hand check. It could be out in the well, open. I'm prof. Okay. I'm proficient. I'm proficient in sleight of hand. Can I g help him? Can he do it with advantage? All right, I am going to use my since I'm per, that's a skill check for me. Yeah. I am going to roll a d8, so I want to. So if I don't need it, it's not going to be used. But no, oh, it only adds one, so no big deal. DC 18, you can roll it out in the open. All right, DC 18, sleight of hand. So I have to roll a seven or higher. Oh, <laughs> done. Oh yeah, dun, dun. I have you're, plus you're... ten to sleight of hand, so. You're pretty precise, so roll. Uh, it's going to be double this. Roll three d ten damage as you nick her heart. Just roll three d tens. Oh, it rolled. It, oh, it did roll. No, that was it. No, it nope. did not roll. It did not roll. Twenty. She is still alive, as she's got two hit points left. Perfect. Woohoo! I'll give her a little heal. Right. Uh, as you do that, a um, key appears over her chest. I'll grab that. And as soon as it Wink. appears, there is a keyhole on the vault. And I'll place it in the vault. Okay, and that's uh, why that as I was doing this when Griff cure wounds her and she's now nine yep. or ten points, whatever. Yep, yep. she's good. Uh, okay, and I'll say, see, all good. Yep, you open the vault, and there's nothing inside. That's what I thought. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. There is stuff. You can inside. whisper the rest of what's really in there later to me, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Lear shuts it behind him. Oh, man, it's empty. Yeah. It's oh, empty. you're oh, sorry. Damn, you're... Man. Let me just pocket this key and uh, get out of here. Okay. So, uh, you do see um, gold pieces, platinum pieces strewn around. There's uh, 98 platinum pieces, 642 gold pieces. Uh, looks to be five potions. Four of them, you know, are potions of healing. Yeah. One is um, a potion that uh, contains a yellow fluid streaked with black, which swirls on its own. Another is like this, um, like a feather. This big feather a little weird uh, there is a scroll and there is a shield Ooh. Uh, the shield has an eye emblazed on it that sounds nice hate being a DM I, I know almost every single thing you just said Yeah, it, it sounds yeah. familiar yeah. yeah. That's I don't know the yeah. feather thing though. Oh yeah. yeah. Um So, um so there's the four potions of healing. Uh so let me put that in the inventory. Well, I could put this all in the inventory. Well, first of all, so how are we gonna divide this up, Bart says? I, I, oh, so reluctantly, I think that all the party members should get their share. Yeah, I, I, I hate. Agree. I know. She, I know the two shit bags upstairs or over here just attacked us, but it was theirs too. 
I also think every day. I also think that because you know we should blood for you guys. I think the potion should go to our team. Uh, Marco's just got his hands up, and he's like, yeah. kind of like raises up, like I didn't attack anybody. No, I know that, but my point is, it was all their treasure to start with. Um, Gemma goes. I think Eloise gave up her portion of it when she attacked us and almost killed several of your party members. I don't think my sister should. And she, yeah. Okay. I agree okay. With okay. That. okay. I, I was just Marco. Thinking... Uh, I guess. I mean, he didn't attack. But he didn't attack them either. I guess he was just like a neutral, neutral. party. Yeah. And he took a vow of silence, obviously, so he... He did help us. So I would think we could give a donation to his temple. You see, I just go, oh. You know, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm gonna, oh. He just kind of hangs his head. He can have a share, I don't care. He did. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm a, so, I'm a little I'm a little good. I mean, not much, but a, anyway, other than that, I mean, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, Bart goes well. I, I he Bart, goes really. You, he's kind of looking over. He's like, all right, I don't know what any of this shit is in here. He goes. Uh, 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 Bart goes. Look, I I don't really need anything. I thought I thought there would be like a something else. He goes to potions, whatever. Uh, he goes to this feather. I don't I don't know what this feather is. It's like, I definitely don't ever use a shield. I don't need a shield. Um, like and, uh, you know, the scroll, he goes, uh. I'm not a magic user, so what, he goes, whatever. I, I don't care for anything here. I just kind of wanted to know what the mystery was and everything else. Right. Well, I mean... Technically, this is your warehouse, your vault, your everything. So you'll get access to the vault and all that, too. And then you would get your dad's portion of the treasure. What I mean, yeah, I don't I don't I don't need it because I honestly oh. I don't need it. This is like what was the feather thing? Was it what was the feather thing again? The feather. It's a big old feather. Did the feather you touch it? You're going to touch it? Oh, well, I'm. I'll, I'll, Wait till we have a chance to. Okay. So Hetty, Hetty goes. Yeah, I definitely want my cut. Right. I mean, you were stabbed in the heart twice. I get it. <laughs> right. I would like somebody that could fix my face. Yeah. Gold can right? probably do something for that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Um. So, there's. Uh, I mean, even Hattie, if... Hattie, Marco, and Gemma. It's three members that are basically left. Right. And it's really just Gemma and Hattie, really, of the good ones. Right. So they would get a fair share, and then Marco would just get a little bit to say that he got some. Whether that goes to his temple or him, I I don't care. I'll, I'll leave it up to the party, but I don't think he should get an equal share because he was against us. Right. Okay, so I will put in the chat. What do you guys think? I think Perrin's greedy, but... <laughs> yeah. I think he'd be convincing... <laughs> We're trying to get hold of as much as we can. And 43 gold pieces. I think Perrin might suggest, well, why don't we take the platinum and they can divide up the gold? Um, what about the magic items? Oh, we take the magic items yeah, or adventurers for, adventures, for All of them? obviously of greater need. Maybe. Oh, mean, pa Paladin, Paladin here can is taking the shield. I would like that very much. 
I mean, the feather might be able to be sold for to fix her face. We know. That's true. Can Pistolette tell us what the feather is? She'd have to spend an hour with it. Oh, I thought she had an identify or something. Well, she yeah, she could ritually cast identify. I think right, Pistolette. What? You can ritually ritually cast identify, right? To identify all these items. Yes. Okay. Well, they'll happily sit around for ten minutes while you yeah, cast that. Yeah, as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that you guys would, can... it would make sense in that way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you guys make small talk uh, for ten minutes. Um, it is four potions of healing. They're just straight up potions of healing. Nothing, nothing greater than that. Uh, it is a potion of speed. I thought it was haste, but yeah, same thing. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, it's a scroll of wind wall. Oh, that's good. Uh, that can be cast by uh, only, in this party, the ranger. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, uh, the shield is... it a spell? Is... I don't have a spell book. Like, do I learn it? Or is it just... Well, I use it's it a once. scroll. So it's, oh, so just it's one and done? One and done? Yeah, it's yep. a third level, so you'll have to do a check. So, yeah, it's third level. So if you cast it before your... Um, before you get third level spells, it's always like a check to make sure you can do it. Uh, the shield is a sentinel shield. Ooh. So with that, it's it's just that's plus two, but you get advantage on initiative. Oh, that's nice. Oh, no, yeah. wait. Yeah, you have advantage on uh, initiative rolls and perception checks. Nice. Perception checks. You might want to go spear and shield it. <laughs> That's what I'm doing now. And, oh, I didn't know you had a shield. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, what's, the, what's the feather thingy? The feather is a Qual's feather token. Bird. So, you can use an action to toss the token five feet into the air. The token disappears, and an enormous multicolored bird takes its place. The bird has the statistics of a rock, but it obeys your simple commands and can't attack. It can carry up to 500 pounds while flying at its maximum speed, uh, with a one hour rest for every three hours of flying, or a thousand pounds at half the speed. The bird disappears after flying its maximum distance for a day, or if it drops to zero hit points, you can dismiss, dismiss the bird as an action. Oh, it's a flying mount? Like a flying mount. Which isn't really good for dungeons. <laughs> no, but it's worth no, enough just... money that if we gave it to Addie, she could fix her face. It's a wondrous item, and it's rare. Ooh. So what's rare? 10,000? Something like that, or 5,000? 500, 500 to 5,000. Right. And magic items are going at a premium at this point. Right. How much How much does it weigh? The feather? The feather. I mean, almost nothing. The, right? oh, the, we, we need to, the rock. The, the, the bird. Uh, oh. A lot? Why? Well, I'm just thinking, like, if you tell it to fly over an enemy, and then you tell it to, like, fall... And it falls on the enemy. Is that like a weapon to use? Yeah, attack. Though. Kind of attack. So we're not attacking. We're just saying stop flying, and it just falls out of the air on top of someone. <laughs> ha! No. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't I don't we can't we can't I mean unless he wants wants to use it for like as a pack mule and have it you know hover behind us like carrying shit for us or something. I can't really think of anything that's useful. Right. right. Uh, she says, I'll forego my gold if, if that's what you want to give me, then. I mean, I think it's the right thing to do. What do you guys think? 
pretty okay. list you guys. Oh, okay, that's fine. If we took if we took the platinum and she takes the feather and the other two people, the rest of the other people divide up the gold amongst themselves. Does that work? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Is everyone else okay with that? So, yeah. I'm okay with it. You're taking the potions, the wind wall, the shield, and the platinum. Yeah, yeah. and they can divide okay. the gold up amongst themselves okay. however they see fit. Okay. Because remember, you got 600 gold already. I know, but Perrin's greedy. I know, but I'm just saying you got 600 if they're gonna, gold. If they're going to go along with it, then I, I, he, you know, he, his alignment and his character, he would push for as much for our group as, as he could. Yeah. Yeah, we're the reason they're getting anything. They came; those guys came here to kill. It's a good thing we were here. Yeah. Okay. Otis, Perrin. Otis might have been nice, and but Aaron's not. Okay. Who's this Otis guy? Okay. So there you go. <laughs> Ninety-eight platinum pieces, six hundred and three gold pieces. That's from the uh, six hundred fee, uh, and then you got two silver pieces. And I'll hand the key to Bartholomew. Thank you. Uh well, I'm glad none of you died. I was looking dicey there for a second. Who's this guy? And he points to Mel. He's with us. Thanks, Mel. I think Mel just... Yeah. You want to yeah, give well, Mel a little bonus? Oh, give we him will. A platinum as a bonus? Oh, yeah. Or is it, oh, yeah. Is it later? Yeah. Yep, later. We'll, right, really. we'll give him his bonus because we sent him over there to check out the Zentarum and all that, to check out all anyway. So we're... It, I mean, he was doing that for us to start with and then, you know... Right, right about now, we're going to check the bodies. We will loot the bodies to see the Xantarum and the wizard. They must have right. something on them, right? They must. Um, yeah, they must. But while you were in there talking, it looked like somebody came in there and already looted them. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I said I was going to grab the ring if he had one. He didn't have, have a one? ring. Okay. Oh. Want, you probably want this, I'm guessing. Yep, that's what yes. I really want. I, oh, man, I'm tired. <sighs> yeah. It's yeah. Fine. Rest. I'm sure everybody is. <laughs> it is, uh, it's about, I'd say about a little after six, after all this is going on. On for a rest. And, uh, yeah, well, we're, le we're letting Marco and what's Eloise go, right? I mean, we're not, we're just letting them leave. So, so Bart goes, uh, I got a quick question for you, Eloise, if you got a minute. So like, what else am I going to do? How, how did you know everything? Like, how did, like, do you have, like, something, like, how, Alton said you knew everything we were going, that we couldn't plan anything. She points to the, the amulet of, uh, protection. It's got a scrying, scrying, um, spell on it. It's hidden by Nastool's. Uh, whatever that spell's called that hides things. Um, didn't she? Uh, didn't she offer us this this uh, yep. item? Yep. It's Is actually it still in got play? a uh, sky sky ring uh, spell on it. She can listen and see everything that Pistolette sees and listens to. My Pistolette. She's got some. They cast it on Pistolette. No, oh. she's got the. I don't know if uh, we coded that, but she's got the ring, or the amulet. Amulet, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So because, oh. yeah, so she was a, wherever the amulet's at, she can scry to that location. Yeah. Well, until we dispel magic or something. Sneaky, sneaky. That is a... Let me see, let me see what that spell is real quick. Yeah, stools. Uh, now, stools, magic, aura, or aura. Nice stools. Something like that. 
it lasts for 24 hours. Oh, so okay. So it goes yeah, away. So yeah. it's, about, it's about to go away. So, so that's how she. We don't have to worry about it then. Yep. Yep. You realize it wouldn't go away after 24 hours. So. Okay. Yeah, we got to code that, Alan. Sorry. I should have done that already. For this Which one is it? It's the ring of protection. All right. So item, if I have it, spells. Sorry, check it real quick. I think I got it. Maybe two. Then it yep. save all, all plus one or something like that. Right. Yeah. So all. hold on. I'm gonna. I want to add it into my actions tab, and you can drag it out there and give it to Alan. And then just right. change the name from Ring of Protection to Amulet or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I'll put it in the items area. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you guys all going home? Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> like, like Perrin said, though, we would do a last check around the warehouse and that kind of thing just to make sure nothing else is here. Yep. No. Uh, nothing, nothing there. Uh, nothing worthwhile anyway. Right. Nothing to you guys. All right. Let's see here. Finger protection. Uh, where am I going to put that on yours here, Alan? Where do you got? Uh, can I just drag that over? Uh, yeah. Where did I put it? All right. There you go, Alan. It's on. It's on uh, pistolet. Yeah, you can rename it whatever you need to. Yeah, it's an amulet. All right, I'm gonna delete it off my character, so I don't think I have one. And I got to put it in your inventory too, because it is. A oh yeah, that's just an action item that I had. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, you guys can uh, go home. Uh, and uh, you know, have yourself a wonderful meal. Got some gold back. Got some platinum. And um, you guys get to level up. Woo! You will take a uh, long rest. All right. Bill, we usually pay him. We're going back in house. Two house. gold pieces. Jeez. I think you should probably give him two, plat two platinum this time. At least. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep, uh, as a bonus. There's two platinum. It's just a bonus, think? yeah. Straight up. Yeah, bonus. he's still getting paid his two gold a 10 yeah. day or whatever it is. But Should, Shouldn't the ring give me plus one AC now? something it should yeah. uh i think it's on there uh if you look at pc and saving throws yeah, right. yeah. it hasn't done anything still have the same uh, ac yeah it's uh, only gonna oh, it's, yeah. it's not gonna change your ac it'll it will take it into account yeah. when um there is an attack against you yeah save like, save one and ac one is on on your effects so yeah yeah it, it's coded in it's on the combat tracker so yeah, it's just it doesn't show on your character sheet Oh yeah, unless you have Mad Nomads thing that automatically updates everything based on the. Yeah, spells. I don't have that. Yeah, so it'll take an account, Alan. You should be okay. We'll 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 watch the first couple of battles. You know that AC of eleven versus twelve will might make a difference. Okay, well I'll let you guys level up. I mean, Lear can throw a couple psychic blades at at you to see whether or not it works. <laughs> Here, catch. There. Alright. Let me give you a long rest. Uh, let's get rid of Hattie. She's gone. Marco's gone. And I should be able to add a spell too, right? I think. Uh, maybe. When you level up, it'll, it should say. Yeah. 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 
we're gonna take the time and get do that now, or what do you want to do? Yeah, might as well. I mean, it's ten o okay. ten o two, so. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't want to start if you're going to log off or so. I'm not logging off. We still got another half hour. Oh, what? Yeah, I do. It's... Ooh, that's a that's a good. Uh, yeah. Four ten. That one is. That's a keeper. I take good berry. They're nice to have. Oh, I know. Somebody's mouth when they're down. And you don't need to have rations in the dungeon. As long as you get a spell slot. Interesting. It's not letting me use the character wizard. What do you mean? Uh, I am getting an error message. That's what I'm Because you don't have the module open that has your character and specialization in I do, open. though. Yeah, I just went and I deactivated and reactivated it. It's the uh, okay. Xanathar's Guide. Okay. Uh, let me make sure that I have it. On my side too. Uh, uh, attack went up to forty six now. Nice. Oh, oh that's a good safe. one. I get my aura of protection. Okay, that's cool. Xanathars. So. Tasha's, Tasha's, Xanathars. Yeah, I got Xanathars. Uh, let me make sure that they are. Where are, you, where are you looking for this? He's looking in the modules. I'm just looking in the modules. I got all of Brian's in here. It's 85 pages. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Not to be sorry for anything. I think I could turn that off. Yeah, but then I lose all access to all my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the coding's nice. Uh, guide to everything. Players. I have players available. Um. I, I can make the actual book available, I guess. That wouldn't do anything as far as no. give away anything. No, it would be the players. The players guide is what has yeah. all that stuff in it. So, Although they changed something around on that. Try to download the, the actual Xanathar's Guide to everything and see if that does anything. Because they, they did something recently that I saw this in the is that a caused a problem. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, let's see if that does anything. I just got Iron Mind, which is Wisdom Saving Throw Proficiency. Yeah, that did it. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, I think they did something where they're getting rid of the players for those gotcha. books. Yeah, I think. I mean, there's nothing uh, really in them that I mean, other than the magic items and stuff like that. But right, yeah. I mean, whatever. I don't. Yeah. I, I never understood why they hid all that stuff anyway. Because I mean, players know stuff that the characters aren't supposed to know anyway. Right. So, so you just gotta play right, you know. Yeah. Uh, what's going on? Uh. Mike? Oh, I just said I got Iron Mine. W wisdom saves efficiency. I don't know if that helps or not, but... Oh, I thought you said it was an error. Oh, uh, no, no. Sorry. Thanks for everything coming through. And I'm just checking my spells if he... Grabbed a few. You have too many spells. Is there such a thing? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to, like, I get some free spells. Like, how many spells do I get? <laughs> I have too many spells. It says I have five first level spells. 
How do you have five? Oh, because of the free ones, though. Don't you get some free ones? Because yeah. of your... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I get, get I get a couple free ones. I get Disguise Self and Rope Trick for free. Yeah, but they're yeah. not spell slots. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, it's... That's what you should never have oh, yeah, yeah. for first level slots. So I don't know yeah. why this is... Oh, I have, yeah, four and three. But I'm just trying to figure out how many spells I should have. How do I figure that out? Do I get those are bonus spells for certain things? That should be under so your usually, spell class. I usually, yeah, I usually go into your in your subclass or in your main class, and it'll have down at the bottom. It'll have a thing that says spell casting. Main. Yeah. So when you when you click next to the little gear next to your class. Yep. Then you scroll all the way to the bottom. It'll set down in the features. It'll say spell casting. You open that up, it'll tell you, like, you know, that you have this many, the ability to have this many spells, that kind of thing. It'll describe it in there. That's in the player's handbook? Or this one? I mean, it's pulling from the player's handbook or yeah, whatever. It. Yeah, it's down to the right. You can see all that. And just when you go to your. Because uh, the Gloomstalker is in. It's in Sanitars, isn't it? I think it's in Sanathar's, not uh, and not in Tasha's. It's one or the other. It tells you what you get for free. Yeah, I know which ones I get for free. I just I'm trying to figure out how many spells I should know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's in the spellcasting description. Yep. That's in just regular ranger. You can look that up. So if you just go okay, to so classes, you go to players, go to players handbook, or you can just go, go to that classes. Way. Yeah, just do it. Go to to your right. All the way down, scroll all the way down to character. Uh, and then there's classes, right? And then you can just click on Ranger. Just click on that, and then it should open up into all the Characters? classes. I don't see it. I'm lost. Sorry. Or it should say classes. Oh, wait. So here's... Okay, so okay, got it. I just scrolled down. Sorry. So classes. Yep. yep. And then and just, then just click on Ranger. Ranger. Yeah. Okay, and the player's handbook. Yeah, should just open Roll up down there. So, okay, spell slots per level? Yeah. Five. Should know five spells. Oh, spells known. Oh, okay, spells known. Okay, yeah, it says five. Okay, got it. Yeah, plus whatever bonus oh, is there, you get. And there's no bonuses for, like, having high wisdom or anything? No. No. So I should have seven. So I have the two I know plus five. Okay, that means I need to get rid of something. Uh, I think. You well, no, you you might. You all right, so you might that. have just got two more, but the ones you learned before at a lower level, you still get those two. Yeah. No, oh, but I just I brought in too many. Is what I did. Oh. So I've got oh. like right now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got ten, and I need to get rid of three of them. But didn't you get some free spells for because of your subclass earlier? Yeah, I got disguise self yeah. and um, rope trick for free. Those I got for free, but I but I brought in a few just to kind of check them out, and I think I need. Oh, to okay, them. gotcha. Okay, I misunderstood. So, I think I'm gonna use. I'm gonna lose Goodberry because unfortunately I can't keep it. I'm gonna get rid of Halo Thorns because you guys have much better AOE than I do. Yeah, so seven. You should know seven spells. Yeah. That, just get rid of that. I think Pass Without Trace is probably worth keeping for, for when the party wants to be stealthy. I think I'm the only one that can do that, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, with Pass Without Trace, I, I don't think I can fail. I mean, my middle uh, is like 22 with Pass Without Trace. <laughs> What's your aura? Want healing sorry, sorry, Mike. What's your aura, aura Nick? Uh, aura of protection. Myself and right. anyone within 10 feet gets a plus four to saving throws. All right, I downloaded that extension. i got to figure out how to code it. Oh, sweet. Wow. So it should automatically come up when anybody's within 10 feet. Ooh. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. All right. So I have the coding if you want that too. Yeah. Let me see. I can put that the concentration under. on there. But yeah, if you got the coding. Yep. I want to drag that into my actions. Yep. It 
showed up as paladin, and so you can drag that and give that to Nick. Okay, and then, and then, uh, Alan, you're taking polymorph. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Do I have money now? <laughs> you guys yeah, you have got all the platinum yeah, you need, man. Yeah, let's buy some spells of that book of yours. You do have uh, what's in the uh, party sheet there. Yeah. People willing to, to give and stuff. So, so Nick, that aura protection, doesn't that give you a bonus based on your charisma modifier to saves? Is that yes. what it is? Yep. yep. Right, right now it's a plus four. So that's, that's all the coding is. It just says aura protection, save, and in parentheses it's got charisma and itself. So it's a, that's an easy coded one. No, right? that's not it. So oh, yeah. There's... You're looking for the one you have for your extension. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he's got the effect already. So right. he's got that. That's just the concentration. Um, just delete it. That's not yeah. what you're looking for. I, I, I've got it. Uh, I, I gotta just look it up, so I'll I'll program that for next week, and then and then Alan, you got polymorph. I'll look at that extension. It's gonna be a lot, a lot like that druid one that Nick had for the last campaign, but right. We'll see how that goes, and then Sentinel Shield. That should also be a code. You got that one handy. Um, yeah, I'm looking it up now. Yeah. How'd you do your thing here? Yeah, Sentinel Shield. I'll put that in items. Yeah, uh, that actually, one's already, already coded. coded. Yeah, it's already coded. Already got it. Yep, I already got it. Okay. Yep. Good. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, advanced, Alan, advanced, so I gotta... advanced skill perception. Yeah, it's a, it's that one's easy too. Yep. Yeah. All right, Alan. I'll try to look at that. Um, that uh, coding for the polymorph because that can get kind of weird. Um, that's a great spell. It's one of the best spells in the game. Yeah. Okay. Um, I wouldn't mind being a giant ape. Right. And then the next level, that's what I wanted to look at, is. What was this one? Uh, 23,000. So what is it? 36. Six. It's right around there, isn't it? Next level. Alright. Uh, it is. Oh, forty eight. No. 34, 34, sorry, 34,000 for level 8. Oh, 34,000. 34,000. Yeah, buddy. Okay, uh, so you guys get a nice rest in. Um, It is now the 29th Omeran Poth. Uh, it's uh, the morning of uh, Pistolette. What are you looking to throw in your spell book? I haven't checked yet. I'm just okay. adding up everything I have. Okay. Um, the steward goes, um, I assume you guys are going to head out here soon, right? Yep. Yep. Can you leave the monthly fees behind? Yep. Of course. Yes, of course. Thank you for reminding us. Yes, I would hate for you to come back to an evicted place, or at least right, right. Yep. Here. Uh, how much is um, it again? I'll pull up the notes now. <laughs> Yep, same here. I think it's like a hundred and Chateau de Filth. So fifty eight a month for all the above. That's the employer employment guild, waste management, Mel, Yoslin, Flard, and the guard, Sheila and Shurn. So that's fifty eight there. 
plus whatever it is for the other stuff that I didn't have written down for. Um, uh, I don't know, other than waste management and employment. Yeah. Um... So it's a minimum of 58 just for the employment and the, all that. Yeah, that's what I got too. I didn't know what, what the taxes or whatever part was. The only one uh, I had was waste management, which was six a month. So Yaslin needs 50 gold pieces every 10 day to give you five healing potions. Right. Oh, yeah. So we gave him some... And with the blood, yeah, just so he, yesterday, yeah. You didn't but give him any gold pieces, though, yesterday. I thought we did. Uh, just the blood? Just the blood. Okay. So he's like, I can't make any more uh, right. potions for you. You want to give him another five platinum for another ten days worth? Right, yeah. Do, you, right. do we want to prepay or just go? I can't imagine we're spending more than a ten day down in the dungeon. Right. Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, because that way, I mean, he's going to need it for the supplies to get the healing potion, so that makes sense. Yep. And his healing potions are a little bit better. He does say, remember, if you can get right. him some blood of the... Hook horror. Yeah, so right now it's showing that his do 2d4 two, two plus 6... And then if we get yep. the other kind of blood, it goes up better, makes yep. it better, right? Yeah. Yep. Find us some hook horrors. Hook horrors, that's correct. Yep. Hook horrors. Good old hook horrors. All right, so, it's, so we'll give uh, the 58 plus a little bit probably to the steward, right? food yeah right right yeah. so i don't know what that would be another 10 probably That's another 10 yeah so 68 gold for the employment and all the things that he would have to pay to include his salary so 68 total there take that out and then, and then 50 five. yep 52 yoslin for the Potion to healing. Yeah. Uh, so you want to just take this all out of gold so you're not carrying logging right. around all this gold? Right, right, right. Leave the platinum there. Yep. Yep. All right. So or not leave it there, but you know what I mean? It's just. 118 minus right. 603. Bank, can I take change at my copper? Uh, you had a bank? We won't uh, our house people won't take some copper as part of the payments? No. Oh. Well, you can give it to him and he'll swap it out for you, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, he'll, we can give it to him. So you leave it with him. It's better than carrying okay. it around yeah, if that. nobody wants it. I mean, like seven hundred and eighty-three copper. Right. And seven gold. I mean, I would just say leave all the copper here. Let him exchange yeah, exactly. that to buy food, stuff like that with. You know what I mean? I That's only seven like... gold. So total, everybody yeah. has 1,254 copper. Because, Leaguer, you have 415 yourself. Right. So that's only 12 gold, right? That's 12 gold and 5 silver. So why don't we leave all the copper yeah. here for him to buy food with as he needs it? We'll just put yeah, it in yeah, like yeah. a little yeah, chest. Yeah, we'll okay. have a big, we'll have a penny jar. We'll just throw all our pennies right. in the penny jar. Okay. So he'll and then he can exchange it, or I mean, he's going to be buying food with it anyway, so he's going to need copper to do that. So, yeah. okay, it just freed up sixteen pounds of my stuff. <laughs> right, 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 right. So I'm <laughs> right. going to remove all the copper out of my thing, and it's the same thing as being twelve or thirteen gold for food. Okay, I I also have five hundred and seventy five <laughs> silver. A shitload of coin too, isn't it? Yeah, sixty gold Chain. almost. Down to yeah, zero that's... copper in my well, for me, and I got a hundred five silver, so that's ten gold for as well. Yeah, I'm fucking poor. I got nothing. I got one. Platinum, I leave my two gold, two silver. I can leave, I can leave them. 
you would leave my silver as well then. I'm gonna five change that out just to get rid of all the fucking coins. Alright, so... Five, 525 silver. Five, Alright, so we're up to five. almost 30... Oh, that's a lot more than so that, keep sorry. keep five silver. You gotta keep five silver. And then that's 57 gold pieces that you can add to your... House. Right? Is that what you're talking uh, about? Or he could just add it change. to his thing. That's that's fine. I'm not gonna. Okay, yeah. It. So I've changed up changed up my silver and and don't need to the copper. Fart out in the morning to get this for you, I guess. Wait, that's fine. Yeah, they just removed like thirty odd pounds in my encumbrance. So is it ten silver to a gold piece? Yeah. All right. So okay. All right. So that's fifty six. I left all my copper here at the house, so that all that I just zeroed out. That that leaves plenty of food money. So, Alan, if you want to look over the spells you want to copy in your, you don't have to go into the dungeon right away, right? I mean, I mean, I would think we would want him to cop get as many spells as he needs or wants or she needs into the book, and then right, from right. there prepare the ones she wants. So basically, uh, Pistolette has, let's just say, over 1,100 to 1,200 gold pieces to work with if everybody's Correct. giving up their stuff. Yeah. I'm At that point, you. it's just about right. time. You know, how yep. much time do you have to. Right. It's about, yeah, it's more of the time than anything. I don't know how many she can do per day and all that. It's based on. On the level of the spell, probably. Yes. So, Alan, if you want to look over and just send me a note, hey, I'll copy these. I'll add up the time and see how long it takes and all that stuff. Or you could do that, whatever you want to do there, Alan. I'll take care of it. Okay. Okay. Um, so, one thing... Uh, Flard kind of gets uh, uh, some information as he goes to the bank. Um, the 30th is a holiday in Waterdeep. It is um, basically like Halloween. It has been canceled due to the shadows. Shadows, yeah. Uh... Uh, and Flard has said that this is not cause. This is this is the citizens are getting angry. They have a curfew now. One of the favorite holidays has been canceled. Um, so there's um, there's some anger going around, especially amongst. Um, mostly the commoners, right? Because this is, it's really, uh, uh, everybody celebrates Halloween, but something the commoners and stuff really enjoy and right. and things like that. Um, so, um, yeah, he kind of gets that, that people are um, just kind of getting angry right now and um, are getting kind of fed up with this whole situation of uh of these shadows attacking so there's that i think we'll stop here no reason to go and alan's got to give me his spells um cool well sweet properly leveled up I don't know what uh, level 7 did for everybody. I think everybody got an extra spell slot, higher level, polymorph, all that good stuff. Um, so the Saturday, the 25th, yeah. we're good from 9 to 12. That's Eastern. Is that too, Brian? Because I think you're in. I'm going to have to find out. Okay. Um, my, my daughter has drama and swimming on Saturdays. 
So okay. I'm going to have to see if that's a Saturday where we drive. Does my wife need me to drive? My wife usually takes her to drama and I usually take her to swimming. So, it, like I say, like 75% okay, but I just want to run up by the wife before I absolutely okay. say 100%. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No problem. Cool. Uh, Brian, you're good. Is that too yep. early? I don't know. Are you in Central time or are you on oh, I'm Eastern? I'm on Eastern. Okay. Okay. You're yeah, no, no big deal. And Alan, you're you're okay with that? The 25th, Saturday, 9 to 12? Yep. Okay. Nick? Yep. 